In the third video of this walkthrough tutorial series, we will delve into a novel, showing off the different interfaces. We will start out with the plan interface. There are three views in this interface, grid, matrix, and outline. We'll cover each of these individually. First, we have the top bar. These aspects are applicable to all views in Novel Crafter, whether write, plan, chat, or review. When you first open up a novel, unless you've imported it, the interface will be absence of any scenes. On the top bar, we will see you first have the option to go back to the novel library through the back arrow. We'll go back in. Next to this is the cog icon that allows you to access the metadata of a novel. We've gone through this in the previous video. If you click on the title of your novel, a submenu comes up. If you have other novels in a series, you will see these. If not, it takes you straight to the metadata. Let me show you a difference. I have this book in a series. If I click on the title, I can open the novel settings, edit the series, or access other novels in the series. The next button along uh, this arrow collapses the sidebar. The sidebar holds the codex, your snippets, and your chats. You can also expand it by clicking on the codex in the sidebar. The two lines next to this enable you to resize the sidebar, like so. At the centre of the top bar, you can switch between the plan, write, chat, and review interfaces. If you're using a smaller screen, e.g. on tablets or mobiles, this may appear as a drop-down menu. Finally, for the plan interface, you can select between three views, grid, matrix, and outline. We will now go into each of these in more detail. The grid interface is the first one you will come to upon starting a new novel. On the top bar, you can also see the filter search bar, which you can use to search by words for scenes in their summaries. Let me show you in, again, in a populated novel. So you can see here in chapters two and three, Rat is mentioned. Let's go for any scene where the character Kelly is mentioned. We have it here. We can then clear this. Next to this is the view panel. In the view panel, you can show or hide uh, auto-detected references, i.e. the codex entries at the bottom of each summary. You can choose if your scenes are shown vertically or horizontally. You can choose the width and height of cards. So this is small width, medium width, large width. And you can see if this is the full description or you can have small, medium or large where they're preset amounts. In the main part of the plan interface, you can create your first scene. If you click this, you will see your first scene appear. We'll take a look at this more in a minute. At the bottom of the grid view, you can see the following buttons. Add act, which adds another act to your story. Create from outline. If you have a pre-drafted outline, you can use this feature to add in your outline uh, with the scene summaries pre-populated. And we give an example of the format here. You can also choose some popular structures. And then preview how this looks and then add these in. These are all appended to the end of any chapters that you already have. Likewise, if you forgot to import your novel, and now you have this blank novel that you want to import work you've already got, you can click this and it takes you through the same importing your novel that is in uh, the home interface. We have a video already up on importing a novel. However, when you add here, this appends to the end of any text that you already have. Finally, there is the actions menu where you can copy all the prose that has been written, copy just the outlines or summaries and delete any empty scenes. So as you can see here, these scenes have been deleted. And likewise, I can now delete these acts. Once you've created your first act, scene and chapter, the interface obviously looks a little different and you have a few more options. Let's go into a more populated novel to look at this. You're able to rename acts and chapters by clicking on them and typing, etc. If you wish to move around acts, chapters or scenes, you can click on the six dots and move them between chapters and even between acts if you have multiple acts. Let's start with acts. Under the act tab, 
you find three buttons. The first adds a new chapter to the end of the act. The second, the pen icon, allows you to view the entire act in the right interface rather than just one chapter at a time or the entire novel. So click story, you can see the full act is selected. And the actions button here, the three dots, opens up another menu where you can either disable numeration, i.e. if you wanted a prologue or an epilogue, then this would ensure the next act said act one. So let's minimize this by clicking on the little arrow here. We're going to add in two acts and we are going to call this story and then disable numeration. And you can see now we have story, act one, act two. If we enable the numeration, you can see that this has come back in. We can copy all of the beats within scenes in this act, all the prose, all the outline and summaries, and we can also export the act if we want like a shortcut rather than having to tick each box. You can also delete the act. However, this is only if um, you don't have any content in. First, you have to go and archive any scenes with content in first. The next level down in our organisation is chapters. Like with Acts, you can change the name of the chapter. And you can drag them around. And you can also click the pen icon to go to a single chapter view. You can see here, chapter one. If we go back into the plan interface, there is another actions menu. Here, like with the act action button, you can disable numeration and that's moved everything along. You can copy the beats, the prose, the outlines, and you can export the chapter. Again, deleting a chapter can only be done if there are no scenes within it. So if we move this scene out, we can see now that we can delete the chapter. And finally, the smallest level within the plan interface is the scene. This is where all the writing actually happens. Your chapter may have one scene or many. Whilst you can't rename scenes, you can access the scene through the pen icon here. And this takes you to just the one scene. So say how here we have chapter two that has two scenes. But if we click here, you can see that we only have scene two. But if we click chapter two, this brings us back to both. We also have a supercharged actions menu. If we click on this, we can set a custom point of view for the scene through here. Um, if we want to change the character, we can add a subtitle. Um, this is kind of in place of renaming the chapter and this will appear in your writing and remove it. We can exclude from the AI content. This is especially good if you're using a model that is heavily moderated and your scene contains any kind of not safe for work content. Like if you're using GPT, the amount of things it picks up on is so like minuscule that you'll just want to have that there. You can summarize the scene and choose the model that you wish to do this with. Um, we have a default prompt. However, you can also configure the prompts to change what your summarization prompt is. We can detect any characters that are in the scene to populate the codex. We can also chat with the scene. And this takes us up to a chat that has the context of said scene pre-populated. You can also duplicate the scene if you want to make large scale edits, but retain your original work. This would work really well in combination with labels, for example. We also have the history section where you can view past scene summaries or past scene contents and restore them. So for example, here I have I can go back quite far. So you can see here we only have a little bit of writing, but then as we go on, you can see as each section was worked on. And then like with the chapters and acts, we can copy the scene beats and prose, export just the scene and archive it. At this point, you can only archive scenes and not delete them uh, in order to retain uh, the information so you can easily find it. Uh, there's nothing worse than deleting a scene and then not being able to get it back. The Matrix View is a supercharged spreadsheet for plotting your novel. On one axis are your scenes, and on the other axis is an attribute that you choose through pressing the Show button. You can pick between characters, locations, 
objects or items, law, subplots, other, point of view, in this case we only have the one character, uh, any labels that you have, or also custom views where you can choose which codex entries you want to use. If you don't have an object or an item of law, obviously you can't then search by this. You can also swap the layout if you prefer to have your chapters on the top and your codex entries on the y-axis. And like with the grid interface, you can choose how you view these, whether you want the cards, um, the grid axis obviously doesn't change, but your card widths and heights do change. The matrix is super powerful. We already have some videos going over what you can do with this. However, I really would recommend you just have an explore and how to make this work for your workflow. And finally, we have the outline view. This is our fuss free interface for those who just want to get on with planning. Like with the grid interface, you can rename your acts and scenes, go straight to the right interface with the pen icon and access the actions menu, the same features here. You can also click on the six dots to move scenes around. And at the end of each area, you can see that we have the add scene buttons here. If we have an archived scene, we also have the option now at the end to add a scene or to add in a scene from the archive. This can also be seen in the grid view if we uh, archive a scene. We now have this little plus icon with a folder which we can click on to add the archived scene back in and we can add this into any of the chapters. At the bottom of the outline view are the same options that we saw in the grid view. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we're going to look at the right interface.